We are nearing the end of the completion of the tabs that are housed inside this idea journal that is being created to store thoughts and ideas on different categories or different mediums that I utilize, different things that I create throughout this mixed media adventure. So I hope you will join me in this particular video. We are going to create this tab right here for techniques. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I have a very experimental style. I like to explore different techniques, different mediums. If you like that type of meandering, please hit that subscribe button. And of course, the notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. Here are a few other places on the web that you can find me. To get started with this particular tab, if you check out the previous videos, you will see how I created these dividers out of file folders, book pages, and a drag of raw umber and yellow ochre over texture paste. I am including some additional patina with the texture effect paste in the greens and blues. <clears throat> I use blue on this particular tab. To create a little more interest with it, I am stenciling with this script stencil to kind of push that into the background a little bit i am adding a coffee filter and this is a just a used coffee filter that i have dried and will modge podge onto both sides of this particular tab so i'm just kind of placing it on flipping it over and securing it on both edges or on both sides. And then we'll just trim off any excess. And there, we'll speed up the drying with the heat gun. And once dry, we'll start to decorate. And just making sure everything is down. And I'm going over, I've gone over each of these tabs with that hard coat. And now to add our quote, and I'm using the quote by Van Gogh, which is, what is done in love is done well. Wrote that on coffee stained paper, going around the outside edge with the vintage photo. We'll get that glued down. And I'm pressing four little holes up the side of that quotation. And I'm going to use those holes to thread this jute through. And then we'll secure that with a little knot on each end. And that jute has three strands, so I want to unravel those strands and just leave it frayed and rustic looking on each end. I'm going to go over the texture paste or the relief with a little bit of um, stays on black ink. And I flipped it over and, and I'm trying to determine what I want to place on that back. I'm going to play with this piece of sandpaper. And I checked the patina texture on it. I'm not overly crazy about that, so I'm going to go over the entire piece with the gesso. Dry that up a bit with the heat gun. And come back with the gilding paste on top of that. And I'm just using the bronze gilding paste, which I've been using throughout throughout the book, the bronze and the copper. And just 
checking it out, placing it, trying to determine where it will work. I'm trying it with linen fabric. I'm trying it with a bottle cap that I've added some gilding paste to, and I'm just not liking it anywhere. So I've ripped off a small piece of it to see if I like it better in smaller pieces. And I just can't decide on that. So we'll set that aside for a while and move back to the other side and decorate or go around that with the outside edge with the Stabilo All Pencil. And I've decided to create my own piece of ephemera here with toilet paper. I've pulled out a texture plate for my Big Shot, placing two sheets of toilet paper ends, spritzing it with some water, and continuing to add. And I go up to about five layers with this. A little spritz of water. I don't want it, you don't want it too wet, but you want it damp enough because the pressure from the texture plate going through the big shot will kind of meld all of that together. And you'll see that here. Now there was some ink on my texture plate, so I did pick that up off of the texture plate, but I'm okay with that because I'm not leaving it stark white as the piece of ephemera. We'll just speed up the drying on this piece, this toilet paper with the heat gun. We'll dry this, dry this up. And if you remember, the quote that we are using is, what is done in love is done well by Van Gogh. So once dry, we're going to fold this in half and create a heart. I think that will coordinate well with that quotation, don't you? So I'm just going to do the simple cut you learned in first grade on how to cut out a heart or earlier. And that texture we're going to define by hitting the heart with the vintage photo ink. And now we'll just find a an appropriate place or an appropriate way to represent that next to that quotation. It's going to go around the outside edges of that heart with some black to frame it in, define it a little bit more. Thinking about adding some threads to it, just trying it out trying it on for size. This is kind of the process I think we all go through. We try different things and lay them out. And some we like, some we don't, some we use, some we won't. And I'm thinking no on the threads. I'm going to go ahead and glue that heart down into place next to this quotation. And I'm happy with that placement, but I feel like it needs something more. I'm going to punch some holes and add some jute into the center of our heart. Now, I'm punching three holes, and I wind up only utilizing two of them. But that's okay. We'll hide that middle hole. And the original thought here, <coughs> excuse me, was I would weave that jute through, and I decided to just tie it off in a knot. I 
I went ahead and punched the hole up in the upper tab and we'll be adding a grommet to that hole. We'll just get that grommet into place. I have this little time medallion that is labeled like a clock. I'm thinking about using that as well. But let's thread this jute through these holes. Tie that off in a knot. And the jute has three strands, so I'm just kind of unwinding those to rough up the edge of that. There's a lot of thought process going into this, and, and I think you can probably agree with me that when you are doing six, I'm doing six dividers. So you get to number five and you start to really have to think about what you want to do. I'm going around the outside edge of this heart with my Stabilo awl, just defining it a little bit more. Remember we went around it with black stays on ink, so I'm just extending that black. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice keeps coming in and out. I'm going through this hoarseness stage. Must be the season. And I'm thinking about this little clock type ornament again. You can see me tapping my fingers. That indicates I'm thinking. So I have finally decided <clears throat> to take a small piece of that sandpaper that we coated in gesso and then hit with the gilding wax right across the bottom here and we'll lay a piece of jute on top of it. I have this piece of burlap fabric I'm gluing to the tab. It's burlap ribbon actually. We'll clamp that down for it to glue in place. And I'm going to cut off the little eyelet at the top of that little coin and have decided to place that up in the upper right corner of the heart. And I'm pulling out some other pieces. I have this piece of, of embossed copper that I'm going to use. I found this little P. And I am going to attach that. My first name begins with a P. This book is for me. So I'm attaching the P to the back side of where we threaded that jute through on the other side so that P will dangle there. And I'm looking for an M, <clears throat> which are my initials, PM, but didn't see one. So flipping over for the other side, I'm using a piece of paper bag, and I've just wadded that up. And I am going to place that with this coffee filter. And this is one of those small coffee filters that you get in your hotel room. Yes, I save them from my hotel and bring them back. And I'm going to glue that down and lay the crinkled craft paper on top of it.
grabbing my embossing supplies and I'm going over the top of that craft paper trying to hit the tops of those wrinkles with the Versamark and I'm utilizing copper embossing powder. And it went on kind of thick so I've just pulled out a little fan paintbrush and removing more of the embossing powder before I set it with the heat gun. I'm coming just back in with the heat gun and setting that embossing powder. And I think I'm going to just use my embossing pen and just add some copper embossing powder on the flip side of this to kind of tie it together. A little bit at the top. Be a little dots down the side. And I think that gives us a pretty good continuing embossing powder on front and back of this. And just want a little messy, messy up at the top of the quote, just bringing that embossing powder onto the quote itself. And just make sure we have everything set. And in place. We'll clean up this and embossing supplies and stick them back in the file cabinet. And move on to our next decoration, which I want to add that piece of copper. So I'm going to pull out a another piece of that craft paper. But I've decided to add a quote, and the quote that I'm adding is by Baldwin, and it says, artists are here to disturb the peace. Glue that down. Add that piece of copper and let that glue dry. I'm going to tie off a piece of jute in that grommet. And I want to really distress the top of this. There's the three strands, so I'm grabbing a comb and just combing through those to really fray those out. Almost make them look like a horse tail. Going around the copper piece with the Stabilo awl. And we'll just smudge that around the outside edges with the black stays on ink to frame everything in and, and continue with that darkness. And I tied on another piece of copper that I pulled out. I pulled a little copper squiggle out as well. I forgot to mention that. And I think that's going to look nice. This is about where we are in the book construction. You can see all the different pages we have completed. And now to title this, and this is going to be the technique section. So let's glue that tag down. And that will complete this tab. So here you have one side with the pieces of copper. 
the other side with the toilet paper heart. Both sides have quotes. We have one more tab to finish, the one in the upper right-hand corner, and we will be complete with the tab design, and we can stitch this book together, which we will bind in our signatures on this book in the final video. So thank you for joining me in the construction of this book. I hope you're enjoying it. I appreciate all of you that have subscribed. Your likes and comments do help promote my channel, so I do appreciate those and respond to all comments. Thank you once again. Bye for now. I'll see you in the final tab and then in the binding video.